Good morning, fellow mathematicians. Welcome back to another video. So here's not much space to jump into the video, but never mind. Once again, it's time for Papa Flammy's random week. Oh yeah, and as you might notice, we are in my kitchen once again. So that's quite special. I want you guys to share this video everywhere to um, spread this new video format all over the world. It's once again time for um, Papa Flammy's. Baking math? Maybe I'm going to uh, call this video that way. We are going to bake something today. Let's dive right in. So my boys, <laughs> I look crazy as fuck. No, I don't. So today we would like to bake a little Donau banner. And you know, this roughly translates into Donau wave. Donau is a river that goes somewhere from Germany. I have no idea. I'm so bad when it comes to geography. But well, we are going to talk about waves today. And for this I would like you guys to consider the Maxwell equations in free space. So at first I would like to separate 5x right here. And I'm going to give you a little hint. What we are going to derive today can also be separated. So we would like to separate those bad boys. The egg white into here and the egg yolk in another bowl. Five of those bad boys. So in the next step, I would like to mix up this egg yolk right here with 250 grams of butter or 240 grams, I really don't care, and 120 grams of sugar. So let's put this bad boy stuff into here. Don't be shy. There we go. And now I would like to apply some curl to this right here. Do you know what else we could do? We could apply some curl to the Maxwell equations. The curl of the electric field. So that's something we could do. And you know, when we apply this curl, we can also uh, use a well-known vector identity to, uh, well, <laughs> turn this into something else. You see, the divergence of the electric field is by our Maxwell equations just zero. So this term is going to vanish, but I want you guys to consider the other side of the equation. That's how it should look. That's pretty nice. Um, yeah, it's nice and soft, all curled up. And now for our egg white, we have to prepare it a little bit more. So for our egg white, I would love to um, add a little bit of salt to this thing right here. And also we want to apply 120 grams of sugar to our egg white right here. Don't be shy, let's put it in here. That's great. And now I would also like to apply some curl to this mixture right here. You really have to start off slowly with this right here and then you can go faster and faster until this gets nice and fluffy and soft. So why do we apply curl to our egg white and the sugar? Why not take a look at our equation once again? So on the one hand we have now this Nebler operator squared, this Laplace operator of the electric field. But on the other hand we still have the curl of the curl of the electric field. Well, as smart as we boys here are on this channel and grills, <laughs> why not take a look at the Maxwell equations and you might notice that the curl of the electric field by our Maxwell equations in free space is nothing but the negative differential with respect to time of our magnetic field. Well, that's quite cool. Now we can make use of a well-known theorem in calculus, Papa Schwarz, to just interchange those two differentials to end up with negative differential with respect to time of the curl of our magnetic field. Well, but by our Maxwell equations, this curl of the magnetic field is nothing but 1 over c squared differential with respect to time of the electric field. Let's bring constants to the outside, bring those differentials with respect to time together, those operators, and we end up with a new differential equation, second order. And this is a partial differential equation. And now we can bring stuff to the other side and factor out this e. And you might notice we end up with a second order partial differential equation, a homogeneous one at that. And this weird differential stuff is called the Lambert operator. It's this weird little square right here. And this indeed is our wave equation and we can work with that. That's our basis for today. You know, this stuff right here is only really done if we apply gravitational force to this thing right here and it won't hurt us, so let's try it out. Oh my fucking lord. Yeah, it's, it's definitely done. Holy shit, you see, it won't fall out. So, the force of that thing exceeds the gravitational acceleration. The, the gravitational force, that's quite cool. 
So right now I would like to continue with adding 200 grams of wheat flour to our egg yolk butter mixture right here. So 200 grams right here. But don't be shy, put it in my boys. Also we would like to add 80 grams of starch to the stuff right here. Doesn't matter what kind of starch you're going to use, I'm just going to use um, regular potato starch for this job. There we go. And now I would love to mix this up right here. And do you know what we could also mix up? We could also mix our wave equation up with the wave function for a monochromatic plane wave, which is indeed a solution to our differential equation. So that's actually quite cool. So that's how it should look. It should be really hard to stir up, um, but don't worry, that's okay. So before continuing any further, I would love to separate this dough right here into two equivalent parts, so with equivalent mass roughly, so that looks good. And now we are going to mix one part up with cocoa, with a little cocoa mixture. So for this we need another egg, we want to separate it. Just take the egg white right here and put it into a little bowl, separate it once again, yeah, yeah, blah, 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 that looks pretty good. And don't throw the egg yolk away, we need it in a later process, so we need this and also I would love to add 25 grams of cocoa to this egg white right here. Don't be shy, put it in. Okay, that looks good. And now we are going to stir it up. Just stir it up quite nicely. We need to mix it. It just makes it easier for us to mix this cocoa up with the with our um, dough that we have prepared till now. So it's okay if it looks like this, grumbly, it doesn't quite matter. And now we can put it into here and then we can just stir it up. Don't forget to put everything into here. Now stir it up. We want it to be a nice little cocoa cream, you could say, cocoa dough. And you see, we can stir it up quite easily using this little trick that doctors hate. This guy managed to find out how to mix up dough nicely. But, my boys, we are not completely done yet. We still have this stuff right here. So just like our wave function, we are not completely done yet. So put the egg white into here, half of the egg white, one after another, and stir it up gently, really gentle. We don't want our air that we brought into this egg white to get um, abused. We still need this air that's in here. And just like I said, we also want to prepare our wave function a bit more. So for this, we would like to use some well-known quantum mechanical identities to turn this into something else. So we can use De Broglie, those identities, the connection between the Planck constant and our momentum, and also the connection between our Planck constant and our angular frequency to turn, to, to turn this into something nicer. And you know, this new wave function that we've got is our main actor for the next part. So that's going to be quite interesting, to be honest. So that's how it should look. It shouldn't be too sturdy anymore. It shouldn't move around freely. So that's quite good. And now for the white part of the dough. So now that the doughs are actually done, we can put our stuff on this baking tray right here. So I use some baking paper and some fat and I'll put it here. Doesn't matter which one you put on here first. Just make sure to put the dough equivalently everywhere on this baking tray right here. So that was the first one covering everything nice and smooth and now for the second one the black one the black boy the black box boy So we are basically done now all that's really left to do is to add some nice little cherries to our dough so I can't really tell you how much cherries you need, just do whatever you want, so just cover it uniformly everywhere, so that it looks quite nice.
there we go, and now that our wave function is prepared, and also our little cape, we can put it in the oven to um, proceed any further. So, here we go, cakey into the oven, right in the middle, right here, and we want it to be, I don't know, um, 190 degrees, something like this, for like 45 to 50 minutes. See you in a minute. So I hope you guys still remember our good old friend the egg yolk because we need it right now. So I hope you still have it in your heart. Keep it trivial, keep it Papa Oilroyd. So um, <laughs> what we want to do now, we want to make some buttercream and for this we need a pudding at first. So let's go ahead and do this. So put a pot on a stove, get your egg yolk right here and also 300 milliliters of milk. So what are 300 milliliters? It's something like this. Oh my boy, nice. And also what we need is some sugar, 60 grams, and also uh, some vanilla. That's this stuff right here. Put it into here and make this shit boil. What we also need are 25 grams of starch. You can mix it up with some water and we need it once this stuff boils, then we are going to put the starch water mixture into here. You can also use milk or whatsoever, I really don't care. And this shit right here is a Newtonian fluid, so <laughs> that's amazing, my boys. Let it rest for a while and it will become um, yeah, sturdy down here. But once you stir it up, it's going to be really, really nice and liquid. Ooh. So while we wait for the stuff to boil right here, I want you guys to remember some well-known classical mechanic facts. So um, I want you guys to take a look at the, at the position operator X. And well, what we can do, we can differentiate this with respect to time and we are going to end up with the velocity naturally. And if we multiply this velocity by some mass m, we are going to end up with the regular classical mechanical momentum. Okay. But what we can also do, we can differentiate this momentum with respect to time once again, and we are going to end up with a force F. And there are many different forces out there, so why not take a look at a specific one, the one pro provided by Hooke's law, which is just minus k times x. And well, now we can just add this force on both sides and we end up with a nice little second order differential equation. Okay, and now we can multiply both sides by the velocity x dot and we are going to end up with a second order nonlinear differential equation. And what we can do, we can do some black math magic and just factor out the differential operator. And what we are going to end up with is just an equation where we differentiate one part with respect to time and it becomes zero. Well, that's what you call conservation of energy. So that thing inside the, the differential with respect to time is just our energy. T plus U, kinetic plus potential energy, being equal to the whole energy of the system that we have. And also we can rewrite this kinetic energy as P squared over 2M, just using our relationship that P is nothing but the mass times velocity. And in the end, right before this is done boiling right here, we can just multiply both sides by our little monochromatic plane wave wave function to get a really nice new expression. And we can proceed from there. Don't forget to stir your starch water mixture up once again, right before putting it in. And <laughs> putting it in. <laughs> pudding! <laughs> That's so funny. Uh, I'm stupid, but here you see um, it should start boiling in a second. And once it starts boiling, it starts boiling, then uh, turn off your stove and we are going to put the starch in and it's going to become a nice little vanilla pudding, which is going to taste quite good. And we need it in the further process of preparing our buttercream, which we are going to put on top of our cake after everything has cooled down. Here's the moment of truth, bitch boys. It starts boiling and let's put it into here. We still got some left. Okay, and now stir it up, stir it up like you have never stirred something up before. And you see, it starts to become a pudding. Let's turn the stove off. <clears throat> and after this is done, you can cover the top of this pudding with uh, something, uh, I don't know, with some foil, and then put it in the refrigerator until it cools down nicely. So, this should be done. If you take a look, it looks nice, it grew nicely, and if you touch the surface right here it should be quite solid now we can put it out of the oven and let's cool it down for like i don't know one hour or so 
So for this part, all that's really left to do is to mix up 200 grams of butter with this pudding right here. One after another, put the butter in one after another using this mixer right here and it will become a nice and fluffy buttercream. So while this buttercream is being mixed up by this fucking Egypt right here that you are watching, um, why not take a look at our Psy once again and I want you guys to consider this Psy being differentiated two times with respect to our X and one time with respect to time in, in this case. And well, now we have two new differential equations. The first one we want to solve for P squared times Psi and the last one I would like to solve for E times Psi. I guess you can see where uh, this is going to be added later on in the game. So, this is our finished buttercream and I tell you what, it tastes fucking good my boys. It's nice and fluffy in the refrigerator and then, well, for next step. So, we are basically done. So we just want to cover this cake, which I put on our wooden plate with this buttercream right here. So let's go ahead and do this. Let's cover it uniformly just like before with the, uh, with the dough on the baking tray. So this is how it should look basically, kind of. And what you want to do now is use this comb right here. So you see that that's a comb. You can do my hair with it. And yeah, you want to make some waves into here. That's why it's called a donor wave. So I haven't used too much buttercream because it would be a fucking disgusting if you use too much. But if you use more, you can see the waves way better. So here we go. Those are the bloody waves. I hope you can even see it here, yeah, kind of. That's what it is at the moment. Uh, now for the last step. So we are at the very last step and I prepared some molten chocolate for this last step. So that's why we had to put it into the refrigerator once again. So what you basically want to do is take a piece of cake right here, this boy, take your molten chocolate, put it into here and then put it on the plate again or just put it on one little plate to eat it. Oh, by the way, before I forget the main topic of the video, why not just substitute P squared times Psi into our energy equation and also this other one. What the fuck, my boys? It's a time independent Schrödinger equation. Hey, we are done. And now you can just replace this Bell X squared with Nebula squared and then you have the Schrödinger equation the time independent in three dimensions. Now let's taste the old bad boy here. Now we have to taste it. So this thing is worth nothing if it doesn't taste good. So uh, maybe you can also see the little waves. You can see them better if you use more buttercream. So let's take a look. They're looking good. <coughs> so my boys and girls, I hope you did enjoy this video, this new type of video and if the demand is high, so leave in the comments what you thought of this video, then I'm going to prepare more things for you guys. So talking about maths and physics while baking or cooking. So if you did enjoy this, please like and subscribe and recommend this very video to your friends, family, to your um, dog, for example. Maybe he's into mathematics. <laughs> if you want to support the channel a bit more, link to my Patreon is in the description. You can also buy those stupid ass t-shirts I created. And well, up until the next video, have a baking bad day. See ya. Oh. Hey. So hoch. Oh. 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 Oh